Hello, guys and gals. I will be reading a book that I got at the library. Well, they left a bunch of books outside. They always take, bring them in at the end of the day, but just books that they no longer need and that haven't been checked out for a long time or books that were donated. Anyways, um, what we will be reading is Best Christmas Jokes by Melvin Berger, illustrated by Sam Taggart. No, Sean Taggart, sorry. So, yeah, and it's a book by Scholastic. That's copyright information right there. And uh, let's see what year it was copyright. Oh, probably doesn't say. Wait. It says, oh, 2001. Copyright 2001. Okay, here's the table of contents. Books about Santa Claus, about reindeer, frosty snowman, and Christmas fun. This is going to be a pretty quick read, I think, because the text is extra big. Santa Claus. Who says, oh, ho, ho? Santa Claus walking backwards. Who rides in a sleigh, gives Christmas presents, and has very long fingernails? Santa Claus, as in C-L-A-W-S. Santa Claus. What's the difference between Santa Claus and a chicken? Santa can get chicken pox, but chicken can't get Santa pox. Why did Santa Claus eat a snail? Because he doesn't like fast food. How did you like the story about Santa Claus and the North Pole? It left me cold. Billy. Santa Claus gave me a wool sweater for Christmas, Millie, but the label says it's cotton. Billy, that's the fool of the moths. That's cute. I like that. Pam, I stood, I stood in a long line to see Santa Claus. Sam, what did he say? Pam, keep moving. What did Santa Claus say to the chimney? You really shouldn't be smoking. Every December, Matt puts a uh, puts a big sign with the name with a, with his name on the roof. Why do you do that? His mother asked. So Santa will find our house, Matt said. But Santa comes every year, said his mom. Has said his mom. I know, said Matt. It works every time. Okay, <clears throat> now we are on the section about reindeer. What does Santa Claus say to Mrs. Claus on a stormy Christmas Eve? Come see the rain, dear. Here, like this. Come see the rain, dear. As in reindeer. Okay, cool. What has two heads, four eyes, six feet, one tail, and a long white beard? Santa Claus sitting on a reindeer. What do you call a reindeer in a desert? A lost reindeer. Okay. Next. Why is a reindeer on a fence like a penny? Okay, wait. Why is a reindeer on a fence like a penny? Oh. Why are they similar? I get it. It has the head on one side and its tails on the other. Okay. Its head's on one side and tails on the other. Okay, yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Why shouldn't you tell secrets? Tell secrets. <laughs> uh, why shouldn't you tell secrets to reindeer? Because they carry tails. Okay. How can you tell if a reindeer is male or female? Tickle it. If he laughs, it's male. If she laughs, it's female. <laughs> That's actually kind of cute. Um. Just before Christmas Eve, Santa Claus saw that one of his reindeer was missing. Put an ad in the newspaper, said Mrs. Claus. That's silly, said Santa. Reindeer can't read. <laughs> that's, that's clever. Uh, what weighs two tons, flies, and pulls Santa's sleigh? Okay, well, wait a minute. Two tons, flies, and pulls Santa's sleigh. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Rhinoceros. Okay. How can you tell an elephant from a reindeer? 
Wait for the wind to blow. The one with the flapping ears is the elephant. Okay. How is a grape like a reindeer? They're both purple, except for the reindeer. Okay. Be kind to the reindeer. It may be of use for hanging your hat or something like that. Good advice. Okay, Frosty the Snowman. Uh, when Frosty the Snowman comes in last in a race, he is Frosty the Slow Man. When Frosty the Snowman pitches for the Yankees, he is Frosty the Throw Man. When Frosty the Snowman cuts the lawn, he is Frosty the Mow Man. When Frosty the Snowman is at the bottom of the totem pole, he is Frosty the Low Man. When Frosty the Snowman lived in ancient times, he was called Frosty the Roman. That's cute. Why does everyone... Oh. Why does everyone like Frosty the Snowman? Because he's so cool. How does Frosty the Snowman get around? By icicle. <laughs> That's cute. What is Frosty the Snowman's favorite food? Cold cuts. Which parties does Frosty the Snowman go to? Snowballs. P Penguin Pete. Where does your mother come from? Frosty the Snowman. Alaska. Penguin Pete. Don't bother. I'll ask her myself. <laughs> As in, I'll ask her? Okay, that's cute. How did Frosty the Snowman cool off at the football game? He sat in front of the fans. That's cute. Where does Frosty the Snowman keep his money? In a snowbank. That's cute. Now we are to Christmas fun. Eric. Dad, where's the North Pole? Um, Dad. Ask your mother. She puts everything away. <laughs> That's funny. Soon Bob got a sled for Christmas. They... Oh. Soon Bob got, got a sled for Christmas. Their dad told them that they had to share it. We will, said Bob. I'll use it going down the hill. Sue can use it going up. That's cute. One way to come to an agreement. Okay. Oh. I can't go to the Christmas party, Betty cried. The invitation says four to seven and I'm eight years old. <laughs> I get it. That's supposed to be the time. She thought it was the age. I get it. Okay. Said a pretty young lady of dis, going skating at Christmas is bliss, but the blade of her skate on her very first date made her end up something like this. And and that's upside down. I get it. That's such a clever way. Tim cried very loudly because he didn't like his Christmas gift. I would not cry like that over a present, said his dad. Cry the way you like, sobbed Tim, but this is the way I cry. If your Christmas tree falls over on Christmas Eve, you have a Christmas. Christmas. Why didn't peanut butter like Christmas? Because tis the season to be jelly. That's cute. I like that. We are almost done with these. Ma. What's the greatest Christmas toy? Pa. The one that puts itself away when the kids are done playing with it. That's true. Uh, what Christmas song do they sing in the rainforest? Jungle Bells. That's cute. What are you giving your dad for Christmas? A list of everything I want. That's clever. Son, I'm going to buy you a pretty candy dish for Christmas. Mom, but I have a pretty candy dish. Son, not anymore. I dropped it. <laughs> what did you give your sister for Christmas? The flu. That is not a very curious gift, but okay. Um, okay. Jack, would you like a little Christmas cheer? Mac, sure. Jack, okay. Rah, rah, Santa Claus. Hooray for Christmas. Okay. That was kind of cool. Christmas cost so much this year. The, tri the tree trimmed me. <laughs> Jenny, I wonder... Oh, Jenny, I got, a, I got a Wonder Watch for Christmas. Kenny, why is it called a Wonder Watch? 
Jenny, because every time I look at it, I wonder if it's still running. <laughs> Ted, what is what what was your best gift? Ned, a drum set. Ted, why do you like it so much? Ned, because my dad gives me a dollar a week not to play it. <laughs> That's clever. Robber, the police arrested me for doing my Christmas shopping early. Judge, they can't do that. I'm afraid they can. They found me in the store at 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay, well, that'll do it. My aunt gave me a dictionary for Christmas, but I can't find the word, find the words to thank her. That's cute. Well, small, white, and goes up and down. A mixed-up snowflake. Okay. Kim, a big icicle fell on my hat. But it didn't hurt at all. Why not? That was by Tim. Kim, because I wasn't wearing my hat. That's a good thing, because that looks painful. It went all the way through her hat. Uh, my friend put grease all over his bed. He wanted to wake up oily for Christmas. That's cute. We're almost done here. What did the bald man say when he got a comb for Christmas? I will never part with this gift. Andy ate too much candy for dinner and started to moan. Andy's mother asked, Are you in pain? No, the pain's in me, Andy replied. Okay. I wanted to buy my uncle a handkerchief for Christmas, but I couldn't remember the size of his nose. Clever. <laughs> what do you get if you cross a snowball with a shark? Frostbite. Okay. It's the last page right here. What's the difference between an iceberg and a clothes brush? An iceberg brushes boats. A clothes brush brushes coats. That's cool. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mary. Mary who? Merry Christmas. And that was a very, very clever, a very clever book. And it is the season to be jolly. The, that was the best, the best Christmas jokes by Melvin Berger, illustrated by Sam Taggart. And I thought this was just a neat little book to add to my channel. And so, yeah, if you like this content, then make sure that you like and that you subscribe and that you ring the bell so you can know when I upload. Um, I've got a wide variety of content on my channel to suit every taste. And I'm up to about 300 videos, I believe. I'm not sure. Anyways. Thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate all the support. And um, that will do it. Thanks again for watching, everyone, and have a great day.